Okay, hi, um, I'm Chris Payden, Head of Art here at Rebellion. Uh, we're on a press day here today looking at the uh, our new Sniper Elite 3 title. And, um, well, let's go straight in and look at some of the footage. Here's the first next generation footage from Sniper Elite 3, the next game from Rebellion Studios, which is due out in the second quarter of 2014. In this mission, which is set before the events of Sniper Elite V2, the player must clear the way for a convoy to make it through Hellfire Pass in Egypt. Uh, so I guess the big, big new features of, the, of Sniper 3 are um, we have huge big open world environments which is a big change from some of the linear levels that we had in the previous V2 incarnation. Um, the player gets a lot more player choice over where they go, how they plan their route through the levels um, and there's just generally a lot more variation in the gameplay and each time the player plays a level the game is different. So Sniper Elite V2 was a really successful game for us. A lot of people really enjoyed that game and we're really keen to build on the successes of that with Sniper Elite 3. Um, some of the big notable changes are the non-linear gameplay that we're incorporating. Um, the AI system has been completely rewritten. The AI is now far more intelligent. It responds in a clever way. Sometimes the enemy will attack, sometimes they'll retreat and they'll regroup and think about things that way. They're much more adaptable to the scenarios and will give you, the player, a much more realistic uh, combat situation. Um, in addition to all of that, there are a whole host of areas of the game code that have been rewritten, uh, the way that we make our artwork and our rendering systems. There's just so many improvements. Um, all of those add little improvements which will you know, culminate in what we hope is a significant improvement of the, of the overall game title on our previous incarnation. Yep, um, enhanced kill cams. You know, the, the, the X-ray kill cam was a big feature of V2. It's, um, it's amazing how many people posted YouTube clips and just got excited over that. So we needed to get, go back to it and we wanted to improve it and we've definitely done that. Um, so in addition to having um, bone and organs, we now have a full circulatory system and we have a complete muscle layer. So there are actually now five layers to any x-ray. So when the bullet comes through, it's, it's like peeling away the onion skins. It's like you get a real insight as you watch exactly what's happening with your, with your, with your awesome shot and what it's doing to the enemy player. You know, it's, 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 really, it's really tough when you, when you task an artist to uh, build a complete circulatory system. I mean, typically our artists, we're building characters and guns and finding reference for that is, is actually relatively straightforward. But tasking someone with building just the circulatory system on a character is pretty tough. But, you know, we, we, we buy, you know, whatever anatomy um, books we need um, and, yeah, find whatever sources we can. And it's... You know, it's tough, it's hard work. You know, we, we spend an inordinate amount of time on, on the, 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 the bone structure, the circular system, the whole muscle layer. Um, you know, building characters is, is an expensive part of, of the games industry. And, you know, we're not just building the exterior. We're having to build all these layers underneath. It's, 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 it's a real big commitment from us. Um, but we know the players love it. And, the, you know, that's part of the Sniper Elite franchise. So it's absolutely worth it. And, you know, overall, I'm, I'm really thrilled with the results. And I hope... I, the players will be when they see what we've done with it as well. Uh, working with the new consoles is, is, is really exciting. I've been making games for too many years now and for some fresh hardware to come along because we've, we've had the Xbox and the PlayStation 4 for many years now. So something new to come along, uh, the processing power is really lovely to have, as is the extra memory. Um, as artists, we're always constrained about how many textures we can use, how complex the meshes are, and suddenly it's just like we can run free and wild and do all the things we've been craving to do for the last few years which is really exciting um, and at high resolution and high clarity so that, that, that's really exciting and the the hardware is, is, is so similar between them with, with similar processes and chipsets and amounts of RAM that that's really exciting that we're not having to tone one format down so that we can satisfy another so that's really exciting but I really should note at this point though that actually we've made a lot of modifications to our game engine um, since Sniper V2 and these things I'm saying isn't just improvements to the new generation of consoles. The the what we've been able to do on the on the previous gen, the Xbox 360 and the PlayStation 3, is way beyond what we were doing on the Sniper V2. So there are there are there are big improvements all around for our game. That's all from us from Rebellion. Um, but expect to see more updates on uh, the Rebellion game pages and also with 505 about our this great title Sniper 3. I hope you enjoy it. Cheers, Chris. Oh, and you can even kill Nazi cars now.
Sniper Elite 3 is coming out later this year and you can pre-order now at Shop 2.